everybody, it's Pam. Welcome back to my channel. Haven't been on here in a few days. I don't even really remember how long it's been. I just wanted to show you a couple things that I uh, found. Um, first of all, my share is whenever I said spray these to keep the glitter from coming off. On this one, I did something different. I said you could either spray them or you could put Mod Podge on them. And these... I put Mod Podge up here, but then that was getting kind of messy, so I just used clear glue. I just smeared clear glue on them, and that's working. The clear glue is working. I'm not getting any uh, any residue from glitter, so I just took a paintbrush and dipped it in some clear glue and sealed the glitter right on these. The hard the hardest part about this is getting them back in the bag, right? Okay. It's kind of early in the morning here. My, uh, oops, let's put that right. What did I do with that? I went inside. Um, we finally got a break in our weather. We hadn't had rain in probably, I heard somebody say two months. It seemed longer than that. Had a sprinkle, but nothing like a good soaking rain, and now we're getting the really good soaking rain. It rained a little bit yesterday, and there was a little bit of lightning, a little bit of thunder, but now we've got just a really gentle soaking rain, and I hope it can, it's supposed to continue today. It may have been all night. I don't, I don't know. It was raining pretty good this morning, but I slept last night, like, you know, I like to <laughs> sleep at night, um, and I say that because so many people have trouble sleeping. But I've been sleeping pretty good. But anyway, it may have rained all night. I don't know. It uh, all I know is that it's it's been raining all morning, and it's fabulous. Our grass was so dry. The entire state had a burn ban, uh, except if you uh, let's see. The governor did lift it on um, state parks where they were in a contained ring. But yeah, not, you couldn't burn anything. Um, and the grass was just so dry and crunchy and dying and I'm pretty sure that you know usually whenever we have a really really long dry spell like that during the summer we don't get a fall show of leaves so I'm kind of wondering you know if, if we're gonna get the fall show I haven't been out today but it's like usually when it's really dry like that for a long time the first rain with any sort of little hard downpour it takes all the dry leaves off the trees and we don't get a show. It was beginning to show a little bit uh, when I went out with my friend last week and we were commenting and talking about it and I, and I said I hope it you know it I hope we do get a little gentle rain maybe and get our fall leaf show. So, okay there was that. Uh, I wanted to show you something my daughter has been unpacking you know she moved back here from Washington and she's been unpacking and she said, I knew I had it somewhere, Mom. I just couldn't find it. And she finally unpacked a box. And she had got this for me at a Michael's Hot Buy. And it's this pad of paper. Magic Hour. It's got the mermaids and fairies on it. It's a very, very pretty, very, very pretty paper pack. It's got some what I call filler paper. But I really don't. That would be something that... Um, you know, how would you even use that in a layout? Uh, just throwing that out there because you would cover it all up, wouldn't you? That would be something that if you really like that, you could get like um, a 12 by 12 frame that they sell in the craft stores. You know, usually wherever there's a frame shop, you can get the 12 by 12. That would be really pretty if that's what you wanted. But you know, I don't know how else to use it. Really pretty. Fairies and see again, this would be good for a layout. I think there's only two of each one. And this is the scales, and I think it's really pretty. It looks like little scales. A lot of you have probably seen this, and some of you maybe not. It's got little unicorns on it. That's really cute. I like that. That would be good background paper. And this is just filler paper, but it's really pretty. I like it. And then the stars. Very cute. You could use that for birthdays. You know, birthdays or... Um, Okay, something, something else. Any sort of celebration with the stars and the butterflies would be really pretty. Again, background paper. I love that. That's beautiful. And then uh, borders. 
cut each one individually or use a, like a couple on the bottom of a card or a layout or a um, mini album butterfly background with a little polka dot pattern such beautiful colors look at this these are little shells they're not polka dots they're little shells I don't know if you can notice that and again the star pattern with the shells fairies again so cute and then these are the cut aparts. This is six by six cut apart. And then the tags and borders. And oh, journaling spot. And then the big. You could still that would make good layout background, or you could even still cut that up for a card. And again, here's here's this. You know, there's what would you do with it? But frame it. I'm not really sure. This is pretty because they almost got the shine to the scales on that. And it's not even shiny. Okay. And again. Magic. It's, it took me a long time to, to figure out what that said. And I think it says Magic Seeker. Is that what that says? Because I'm not really sure. You know, we all learn to write in cursive. But is it, I'm not really sure what that. You know. What does the magic. What does that say? It almost looks like Magic Feeker, but it's not Magic. I'm sure it's Seeker, but they needed to use a different font for that. And that's just the way my head works. And this is pretty. I like this one, too. They're very pretty. Got mermaids on this one. That'd be good for layout, or you could cut that out for a 6x6 six six card. And I'm just showing you this because I, I, I thought it was pretty. And then get the shimmery scales. And again, the unicorn. You could cut that out for a card or use for a layout. I haven't done a layout in years. And then there's the 6x6 six six cut parts. So she got me that. Now, I like that. I thought it was funny. It was, in the, it was sitting, laying on my office, uh, laying on my desk at my office whenever she, because I still have my office out where she, she lives in the building, but my office is like an add-on and separate. Anyway, I got this at Walmart. I was at Walmart the other day, and I got this, and I said, Red Promenade, and it's color buck, and I hadn't seen any uh, shades of red for, uh, you can use this for Christmas, which is coming up, or you can use it for um, Valentine's Day, and it was 30 sheets for $5, and there's six of each sheet, and that's a brighter red, and then that red. And then this is a burgundy, burgundy red. It might look a little purpley on, on the camera, but it's burgundy. And then this is a darker red, be a good Christmas red. And then there's this red. And I picked up a pad and I was looking. I said, oh, how many sheets? And I said, six sheets of each. And I picked up one and there was only four sheets of this one. I said, okay, somebody needed a couple of sheets of red paper and tucked that under their coat. Okay, so I got that. And then I was at, um, oh no, wait, at Walmart I got these. I got these. They're skulls and, skulls and glittery spiders, but they're just black and silver. And, or the, uh, or you can turn them over and they're just like this. You know, they're not glittery. Then, but I like, I thought those were really pretty. And of course, you know, the glitter comes off. But I know how to solve that problem now. Spray them. Those would be hard to spray. Okay. So I don't know how, how many's in there. 24 pieces. So I'm assuming there's 12 each. And now I've got silver glitter all over my fingers and all over my table. And then I saw Muriel, Miss Cooper's Coop. She had gotten these bags in a rack in a Happy Mail. And um, I thought those were really cute. And the person who sent them to her sent her you know, one of each in here, and there's 18 bags, but I thought they were really, they were really cute. I like the ones with the pumpkins. I haven't opened those yet. I really don't want to open them. I, you know, I may not even get to them this year. And then I went to Dollar Tree, and where I had been using, I used a lot of my, of my burlap ribbon, just the regular burlap color, you know natural color. I use quite a bit of it. I think this is a bigger roll. 
<laughs> may have a little bit harder time getting uh, that one used, but I use quite a bit of this. So, and I probably still use a little bit more. And I've got glitter, I bet it's, the camera's picking it up. But I thought the red burlap for, because I used this one making cards. So I think I'll use this one. It's a little bit wider and a little bit longer, but I can always cut it and fray it. And that's what I did with the other one. So I got that <coughs> at Dollar Tree. And then I got the fake uh, plastic snowflake ornaments. And these also have glitter on them, but you could, sp again, spray these so they wouldn't come off on your card or layout project. So I got those. And then I found the Baker's Twine over in our, and this, it's Crafter Square, and Crafter Square had, has changed their their packaging. And I've seen a lot of people uh, showing what they've gotten from Dollar Tree, where they have expanded their craft department. They have not expanded the one at my, not in my town, maybe the next one over. But I thought on uh, the Baker's Twine I could use the red and the white for Christmas, and also the the white and the and the pale blue for the winter. You know, there's a lot of blue papers. You know, where, you know, ice skating and all that stuff. So I got those. Anyway, uh, we'll see what else. There was one more thing. What was it? Oh, there it is. I got um, from Alley Express. I got these these frame dies because I had recently been using a lot of my little dies and stuff. I had already taken these apart. These were all together. And I said I kept looking for something that was just a little wider, like like this. Like this one right here. Oh, I can't see that. Like that one. You know, so I could get I'm just covered in glitter now. <laughs> so I could get, you know, the sentiment stamp. I could get that in there. A lot of them were just too narrow, so I think this one will work and and that, like that, that one. But there's a lot of sides. There was uh, one, two, three, four. There's six, six dies here, so you can't see them very well on my on my mat. But I got those. I don't know how much they were. I think I I had ordered a lot of stuff. I remember I showed you the stamp that I got. And there's something else that I, I got that I that I got the stamp too. That, but I showed that last time. There was something else I wanted to show you, but um, I, I'm not going to show you because I'm afraid people might get mad at me. So, uh, and I'll just leave that at that. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, people get mad when people order from China anyway because they say that China is um, violating copyright laws, and we're perpetuating that by purchasing. All I can say is that I know people need to make a decent wage in this country, but when you can buy it from China for like three forty nine, and over here it costs twenty seven dollars, you know, it, uh, yeah, I mean, and that's exactly probably what happened with what I, actually between the two items that I ordered from AliExpress, which was China, and I can see it is. You know, it, it's very similar to what I could buy here in the United States. And the two items that I bought were like $7 and something for both of them. And here in the United States, it would have costed, it would have cost me around 48 to $50 for the same products. And I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go with what I can afford. Because why should I want it and not be able to afford it here? Whenever I, if I want it, I can buy it through there. And if they've got a problem with the copyright law, I mean, maybe they should, you know, maybe the United States should enforce stricter, co stricter copyright laws. I'm sorry, that's just how I feel. If I want something, you know, I've seen lots of stuff that I could not afford here in the United States. And then, you know, hey, somebody put me onto Wish and AliExpress, and I'm getting things that I could not afford had I purchased it, wanted them here and purchased them here, it would have been a hardship. I mean, whenever I can buy two things for under $8 and the same thing in the United States is costing close to $50, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to show you what it is, but that's just my opinion. And I'm sorry if I upset people. All right. If you've watched to the end, thank you very much, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.